As to how you can promote your indie game, there are many ways to do marketing. The most basic prerequisite is simply having a public Steam page. The most impactful thing in marketing is simply time. The quicker you get your Steam page up and running, the more time you have to gather wishlists. And wishlists build up over time, so the longer you have your page receiving wishlists, the better. Then, like I mentioned a while ago, one of the main ones is YouTube. If you have the right kind of personality, you can attempt the Danny style with lots of funny clips and some extreme editing. As for me, I definitely do not have that kind of personality, so that type of content would definitely not work for me. But you can also do some more chill devlogs. I made a video quite a while ago covering a bunch of devlogs. Like I mentioned, Thin Matrix is a good one. You also have Flow Studio that recently released a successful game. You have Lumber Mill and DevDog and many more. Feel free to check those out to see what style best fits you in your game. Also, it doesn't have to be just devlogs. Maybe if you have a sandbox game, you could make a channel with some funny clips or some weird than expected things that happen in your game. Remember that the goal is attention, so do whatever you can do that brings in the most attention. Another place you can do some marketing would be on Twitter. Although in terms of results, I believe this one is quite limited. But still, you should be making some GIFs and perhaps one of them will go viral. Then as you're making those GIFs, you can also post them on Imager. I think this one also has kind of lost its power nowadays, but you might get lucky and make it go viral. Then of course you have Reddit. Depending on what game you're making, you can find a subreddit specific for the audience you're looking for. For example, there's a Tycoon subreddit, there's one for turn-based strategy, or maybe you can even post in subreddits of other popular games similar to yours. But do be careful with Reddit rules, some subreddits are very strict about self-promotion. There's also TikTok. Personally, I have not explored this one yet, I'm not familiar with it, but I did hear some indies are finding quite a lot of success. Then a tried and true method, you have a mailing list. Just have a sign up form on your website, mention it whenever you mention your game and keep growing that list. Usually people who sign up to a mailing list are already pretty interested, so growing this one is very difficult, but very powerful. Another technique a lot of people have used successfully is making a free prologue. So kind of like making a free demo. If you design the demo correctly and it leaves people wanting more, then you will likely gather a nice amount of wishlists. And related to that free prologue, something more recent are the Steam festivals. I believe they have some rules on when you can submit, but if you can, definitely take advantage of it. For example, the game I mentioned a while ago, Lens Island by Flow Studio, they benefited massively from participating in the Steam festival. It's great for gathering tons and tons of wishlists, even if those then convert less than the organic wishlists. And of course, you also have paid marketing. This one will naturally depend on the funds you have available, as well as the price of your game. If you have a very cheap $5 game, it's pretty difficult to make paid marketing work. But if your game is $15 or $20, then at that point it becomes much more doable. So those are just a bunch of ways you can do some marketing. You might be thinking to yourself, okay, that sounds good, but it's way too much work. So again, let me remind you that the alternative to doing no marketing is getting no sales. So either you put in the work or you have a guaranteed failure. Sadly, that's a reality whether you like it or not.